Hello and welcome to Imaginations from Futures. My name is Zhao Ke, and I work in the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China in Chengdu City, China. I also work as the co-chair of the UMAC Futures, which is an organization of young scholars from university museums around the world. Today, I'm so glad to start this new project named The Imaginations from Futures. We plan to make online talks with young scholars from different university museums, from different countries and the districts. This project is a description and observation of the current image by the young scholars and also the imaginations from them to re-image and reconstruct the university museums after the pandemic. And I believe it will bring more hope, energy, and vitality. So, it is Chengdu time, 8 p.m., and it's 9 a.m. Buenos Aires time, where our guest speaker is. Let's welcome Mariana Santa Maria from the Physics Museum of the National University of La Plata, Argentina. Mariana? Hello, Zhao. Hello, everyone. Okay. Good morning for us. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and good night for us. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's very interesting because it's the second stop of our online talk. And uh, uh, China is just the antipodes of Argentina, you know, the opposite side of the on earth, you know. So it's very, very interesting. Our online talk moves, moves to the south globe, right? And, and uh, um, <laughs> yes, it's very interesting. And it's a delight to have you here with us today to share your experience, your research, and your ideas about university museums from the perspective of young scholars. So, Mariana, could you please give a brief introduction of yourself and your institution, please? Okay, uh, well, I have been a museologist, museum, of the University of La Plata for 10 years now. And I am a coordinator of the Observatory University Museums here in the same university, an advisor to the museum area of the public library of the same university. I work at the Physics Museum located within the Physics Department of the National University of La Plata has the mission of being a diffuser of the historical heritage that makes up its collection and to function as a participatory site. It proposed to awaken curiosity about the natural phenomena that physics addresses, appealing to the capacitor through participatory experiences. So we have a lot of instruments of demonstration and into operation, some of them, and some more delicate, we show through videos and photos. Uh, all of these things have the function of sharing with the public a look from physics towards a natural movement, light, sound, electricity, but all linked to technology, art, and history. Uh, among the activities offered by our museum are those of advice to museums and schools laboratories and the release outreach activities like publications and exhibitions, courses and shows. And well, our museum is a one floor museum. It's a little place, but we do a lot of things and that make very big. <laughs> yes, I can tell uh, the activities from the photo you sent me. So I use, use that to uh, be the cover of our online talks. Yes, thank you, Mariana. So let's move to the question Q&A step. Uh, my first question is, what is the specific project or program you are working on right now and uh, why? Well, at this moment, we are facing several projects of a 
digital nature uh, of try to do something for every area of the museum uh, from the archive documents we put online some books that have uh, documents historical documents and we try to transform some publications into a multimedia products so that they could be more attractive and accessible in the digital format. But right now we are trying uh, to explore an idea to make a digital visit via Zoom. And the project came from a teacher who visits us regularly and who had, who had the concern to do something on paper students from school who did not have connectivity. His proposal was to work with the movie The Martian uh, to present physics in a more fun way to his, their students, to his students. He proposed to them to think about to survive on planet Mars using science. So he invited us to prepare a material for this project it in two versions a paper version, a booklet to distribute to those children who could not access to internet, digital one for our online audiences. A few days ago, we launched the digital material, so that is online and you can. Uh, and why we are in this project? Because we need to reconnect with our visitors. And we believe that now that will not be possible. So at least until February or March for, of next year, uh, opportunity to explore other forms of mediation that I think they are here to stay. Um, and it's an open our museum to the world and receive in this type of visits people from any part of the country and the world. So it's something really new to us and it's taking time of learning and getting started, but we are very excited, especially teachers again, um, be able to interact with them in some way again. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mariana. And I, I, I can understand that there are much more uh, work for you and for your colleagues, but it means a lot because you just now you mentioned that you reconnect with uh, visitors from all over the country, right? Use the digital uh, digital work, put your books, put your archives and uh, objects online. And you also support the uh, research and the teaching. And uh, that is, uh, in my opinion, Online teaching is like a trend we cannot avoid, we cannot stop, but we can use online teaching and offline teaching uh, way, uh, in, in a combination way, maybe in the future after the COVID-19, right? So uh, yes, you, 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 you guys, you, you and your colleagues did a quite great job, I think. And, and uh, it, it's, it's an example for us, yes. Thank you. And uh, let's move to the second question. Uh, that, that is, if you are creating an exhibition, I don't know if you, you and your colleagues are creating an exhibition. If you are, what object do you want to connect or display most related to the past two years experience? Because uh, the past two years experience is a very unique one. So what object do you want to connect or display in this exhibition? Okay, it's a, it's a very interesting question that makes you think a lot. Uh, I think I have two options. Okay. One, it's, <laughs> uh, one, it's about what's happening in my faculty right now because in March 2020, it uh, was formed a group, COVID Exactas, and it was a, an initiative promoted by the scientific community itself 
and it was born to provide answers and face the health crisis. And from this project came a design and development of a vaccine against COVID. So I think I will choose those instruments from the collection uh, that will help tell this current story. And some of these instruments were acquired for research. Our mission is to communicate what is happening today on our, in our faculty as well. So I would like to make in objects and stories from the past to tell the advances and research that is happening today. And the other, maybe the instruments of communication, you know, the telegraph, the telephones, because how communicate if we can't see each other in the past? Well, we can show this telegraph, um, I don't know, different ways of communication um, before internet. Okay, so th th uh, those two objects are your choices, right? Yes, very nice, very- yes, th Yeah, uh, two options. Two options, <laughs> very brilliant, brilliant. So it's like we are collecting the ideas of and special exhibition uh, to memorize the two years experience. Uh, that's your options. And uh, I think that means uh, we can reconnect and we should reconnect with the uh, uh, objects, reconnect the past, the, the present to the future, right? To bring the past and bring the present to the future, to the maybe to the next generation or to the uh, humankind in the future. That's very brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Uh, very special, very unique. And uh, uh, the third question is when the COVID-19 is completely gone. And I think, uh, I hope it's gone soon. What do you want to do most related to university <laughs> museums? Okay, uh, first of all, open the doors and say, welcome. We are so happy <laughs> to have you back. <laughs> we miss the public very much. But when the COVID is completely gone, what I would most like to do is go back to meet with other colleagues who work in university museums, the changes that this pandemic has proposed to us. Uh, in the UNLP, we have a recent observatory of universities, which was aimed at bringing together professionals from different areas of humanities, science, arts, among others. And I want to get together to chat and think about what we were doing and for whom we are doing. Um, after what we have experienced, I think it's vital to return to the meeting and reflection, reflection to embark on a path that allow us to apply these lessons, always having our visitors as our center. And I will also like to do some activities to bring university museums closer to the people, to our community. We are not so visible, and this pandemic makes more invisible. And we try a lot to be online and on the social networks and do a lot of work to be there. So I think we need to connect, connect with the people of our community more. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. And that is also my uh, hope and face to, to do so to reconnect with the visitors and to closer our colleagues around the world, right? Uh, to break more boundaries uh, between us. Yes, it's, it's yes. also the option from, from one of your, uh, uh, it, it's also the object from one of your options, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, break, uh, in terms of the communication, 
or uh, between us. I think the first, que the, the first question is very interesting because it's kind of a relay question. I call it question in a bottle, sort of message in a bottle because it's from, it's from the last guest speaker. Uh, she is Eva from Czech Republic. We did the interview two, year, two days ago and she, she asked a very interesting, asked, asked and very interesting question. Um, and that is, what is the most impressive experience in the audience engagement in your work? Or uh, other way, what is the best tool for you to do audience engagement in your work? That, that is a question from Eva, audience from, engagement. Yes, audience engagement. What is what is your what we most, do? Yeah, what is the most impressive uh, experience in your work? We have a night called the museum's night. Yeah. That night we we engage with our visitors and our people in different ways. Mm -hmm. And it's great because we really connect with people and engage with them because came families, older people, children, all type of people came to our museum. And we offer not only, we not only show our uh, collections, uh, but we do some shows and experience alive and we have a, a lot of stands of projects uh, from it's a very nice happy and fun night and that was the most engagement project that we, our people our public because it's uh, so diverse and so mixed of experience, uh, there is art, there is science, there is history, there is music, and all trying to communicate. Uh, okay, okay, uh, get it. So your answer is uh, museum night, right? Because you bring not only just uh, one type of visitors, but also the family, different kinds of people, and they, they can have uh, 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 in a very relaxed atmosphere to enjoy the uh, happiness from the museum, right? And to to watch the uh, to watch the object, to learn some knowledge from the guys, and uh, to talk with the families, talk with their friends. So it's 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 kind of just life in the museum. It's just a light. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I it's love this the one. night that we can get closer to, yes. to that people. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think it's a very nice trial. And many uh, museums do that, do that in China. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. That is the uh, last question. And uh, we, uh, to keep, to keep on the relay question, please ask your question to the next speaker. Maybe the next speaker is from Japan or from North America or somewhere uh, to, be to be continued. And uh, what is your question to him or her? Okay, my question is, what positive aspect you, can you recover from what you're during the pandemic. And will it change your work at the museum? Okay, okay, I, I, I get it. I get it as a question and I, I cannot answer uh, now. <laughs> Let's just uh, wait for the next <laughs> speaker and I will tell you the answer of uh, him or her. And, and uh, also you, you can watch the video maybe in the YouTube. Uh, several days later.
and and I think it's uh, very interesting because the connection from Czech Republic comes here to Argentina, and uh, it will go to anywhere on Earth, right? So let's look for what it. Let's look uh, look yeah, for what to it. Yeah, it's great. So it's it's the end of the conversation. Uh, I have to say it was really a wonderful conversation with you, Mariana, and uh, thank you for your time. Of course, thanks to our audience in the future. Thank you so much, and I really hope them enjoy it and join us again in next online talk. At last, I would like to say, you make futures. We are coming. That's all from me today. See you next time. Bye. Bye.